Janice Scholl. Yes. Okay, I remember the first time I met you. I said, I've kept your family in, in the corn pad business. <laughs> Right? Isn't your right. family? Yes, they are yes. the original inventors? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Scholl was my great uncle. Oh, my. But very close to my family. When my father's father died at an early age, uh -huh. he, dad was only, my dad was only 12. And when he, his, Dr. Scholl's brother, Peter, died, he took care of the family. Mm -hmm. and saw that they got to college and oh my, huh? all of that. He had, my father had three sisters, and he was the only boy in okay. their family. Mm -hmm. So you sold the business. So the family, after Dr. Scholl died, one of my cousins, Bill, Bill Scholl, took over the company. And it went on the market. It went on, you know, Dow or whatever one of those things were. And um, after a while, it, the, the, the company was sold, you know. But they kept the name. But they kept, they bought the name too. So. They bought the name, yeah. They bought the name, yes, so. Okay, well we've got more to your life than corn pads. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. But, but that's special, <clears throat> they're special in my life. That's special, okay. well, yeah, and, and Dr. Scholl. We called him Uncle Doc. Oh, cute. Different parts of the family called him different names. Uh -huh. I think maybe it helped him remember where we were. <laughs> oh, cute, cute. Well, thank you, Janice. And I see you were Sister Peter Ann. Yes. Uh, we'll get to that in a bit. But to begin with, a little bit more about your family, your parents, your siblings, where you grew up, went to school. Well, I was born in Chicago. I was the oldest of nine children. Uh -huh. Um that we, we, we always refer to our family as the two families. I was the oldest and I grew up with my two sisters and when I was 12, my first brother was born. 12. Mm -hmm. So, and then after him came five others. So, you know, the three of us right. and... <laughs> The rest of the family. And the rest of the family, yeah. So some of them, um, they only knew me as the nun because when I entered, my oldest brothers were seven. Oh my. And then they were seven and three and 18 months old. When I was a novice, my other brother was born. And then when I was a professed, my youngest sister was born. Oh my. So when I would go home on a visit. Who is she? The nun was coming <laughs> and it was like, we hated it, Janice, when you came on a visit because we had to be on our best behavior. Isn't we that? We couldn't be ourselves. And we had to say grace at every meal, <laughs> which I mean, we didn't as a family you know, do a lot of that. So. Isn't that true? Yeah, I think we all but went through we that. We all went through that. <laughs> Got the but. clean house, the good <clears throat> dishes, the best meals. Yep, mm -hmm. yep, oh yes. And so, and we had to look nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you know, as, as we grew older, I mean, I grew clo closer right. to all of them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's and nice. And just this past year, one of my younger brothers died. Oh, younger one. So, so how many are left? So there are eight of us. Oh, that's great. I'm the oldest, and we've all lived, outlived our mother and father. My dad died at 65, my mother died at 68. Wow. So all of us have outlived our parents already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying when my brother Peter died, darn, you know, there are three of us in our 80s, you know, we should be the ones going first. It doesn't not, work that way, does it? It doesn't work that yeah. way. This was God's time for Where Peter. do they live? Do they live? You came, you came here recently from out west. Oh, out west. From Henderson. I, I grew up in Chicago. Chicago. You were born in Chicago. Born and raised in Chicago. Uh, loved it. Loved the Windy City. Mm -hmm. You know, the L and everything else about it. Mm -hmm. But... Um, and you uh, went we, to school, high school in? In Chicago. Uh, we we lived on the near north side, so there aren't many Adrians on the near north side. So you're not one of those famous. 
Uh, no. I won't no, even use the word, will no, I? No, <laughs> no, not at all. Because if you're from Chicago, everyone thinks you went to... No, okay, I didn't. I was, I was taught in grade school and high school by the BVMs. Okay. And at, I really was, you know, toying. I, I wanted to be a sister. And the only sisters I knew were the BVMs. Mm -hmm. And so as graduation came, I said, you know, I went to my dad, I want to enter the BVMs. And my father looked at me and said, well, not yet. Why don't you work a little, do more dating, and then we'll talk again. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> so? So I worked at Shoals, <laughs> and um, also at our parish, I was one of the founding members of our Young People's Club. Oh, nice. So, um, you know, the young, young assistant was our mentor, and so, you know, we would do all kinds of things, all of us together. We had, we had a lot of fun. In fact, we played, played uh, poker. Oh my! In okay. the church basement. Oh, very good. <laughs> on Friday nights. So the young persons club was really the poker club. It was the poker. Club. Well, not everyone came, but yeah. a lot of you know people came and went. You know, at different mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. And um, then at one time, I had said to Father John, I said, you know, I really, I really am drawn to religious life. And he said, Janice, you don't want to be a BVM. <laughs> oh, interesting. He said, I want you to go talk to the Dominicans. I finally got up the courage to go over there. <clears throat> and I knocked on the door. I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> this nun answers the door. <laughs> and um, I said who I was. <clears throat> and why I was coming. I said, you know, I, I'm thinking about religious life, and our, my priest said, you know, I should talk to someone else besides the BVMs. And he's wanted me to talk to some Dominicans. Oh, well, come in. Well, then they called the superior, who happened to be Cyril Joseph. Okay. And so she came out, and, you know, in the background I could hear laughing, and, 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 and joyful sounds. And I thought, well, this is different from the <laughs> ones I've been used to. And so, I mean, we talked, and she said, well, why don't you come back again? So I went over a few more times and met some of the other sisters that were there. Don't ask me who they were because I can't even remember. <laughs> One of them I do remember was Joan Sullivan. John Marie Sullivan. Yes, yes, yes. So I did meet her. And we talked more, and I thought, you know, I like what I see. They're not all the same. They're, they're different, and I didn't know what it was. Good for you, good intuition. Mm -hmm. So comes June 27th. So I went back to my father. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm still interested. And he said, not the BVMs. I said, no, I'm not entering the BVMs. I'm entering the Dominicans. And he said, okay, that's what you want. So This is your father, not the my priest. My dad. Yeah, your my dad. dad. Okay. My dad, yeah. So my mother and father drove me to Adrian. Any of the kids come with you? Any no, of no, 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 just no, the two no, of them. No, no, no. They stayed home with my other sisters. Yeah. They took care of them. Uh -huh. So so I started my journey mm -hmm. with 57 other young women. And we're 19 now. Some of us have died. Some have left and have chosen another path. Right. But over these 58 years, or not just 58, 65 years, right, right. Um, it's been, it, it is a wonderful journey, and I'm still on it.
Wonderful, wonderful. You know, and you know, it was funny. I wanted to be a sister. Never did I realize I was going to be a teacher. I think a lot of us <laughs> realize that. Teaching. <laughs> teaching. Well, I was old, well, older. I was 19 when I entered, almost 20. That was <clears> old, <throat> considering that most was of old. us were 18. <clears throat> and so as a postulant, I was sent out to teach. I went to presentation with um, Marie Henry. Oh. Adelaide. Oh, lucky. Uh-huh. And um, beautiful woman, mm -hmm. beautiful woman. But like everyone else, someone wrote my these lesson plans for me. And I finished them all by 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> what grade did you teach? The second grade. So you were finished by 10. <laughs> and so I went and knocked. <laughs> and she told me, well, go back and start over again. <laughs> well, <laughs> I thought I ended up being a pretty good primary teacher. <laughs> Don't you wonder where those kids are that we taught and we did not I know, really? I know. We, we had some foundation, but we didn't know what we were doing and teaching and stuff. And, did and they I, learn and anything? And I hope, I hope I taught them yes. how to live. Yeah, I'm sure you did. You know, that's sure the important thing. So then I came back for the novitiate. And then we were, then it was, you know, to, or to make, to be, to be, enter the novitiate. And then it was coming to a name. Well, my father's name was Robert. My mother's name is Dorothy. And I didn't want two big names like that, yeah. too yeah. long to write out anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, but their middle names were Peter and Anne. Nice. So that was one of the names that I, I put down, and that was the name I got. However, you know, older, older students in schools I was at, you know, thought right. Peter Pan was a good name. <laughs> oh, Peter Ann. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they would always tell me this, you uh -huh. know, later on. Uh -huh. Well, you know, we used to call you Peter Pan. <laughs> Did you know that at the time? I sort of got the idea, you know, that some of them did. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's okay. That didn't bother me, mm -hmm. you know. So, did that. Okay, so then you left. Uh, uh, Went to Detroit. Uh -huh. Was my first mission, mm -hmm. Gate of Heaven. Gate of Heaven. And I was there for one half of the year, and then... Um, the first half of the next year, and then I was changed to Florida. Oh. I went to St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay. Sister Ann Noreen was our superior. And Mother Gerald would come and visit. Frequently. Yes, and it was like, oh my God, the Mother Gerald's coming. <laughs> she went to the beach with us. Oh, nice. She enjoyed the ocean. Mm -hmm. You know, so I got we, we sort of got to know Mother Gerald in, That's a, nice. uh -huh. in a different in a different way, you know, and I loved Florida, loved Florida. I was there three years, and these little appointment cards came out, and mine said Tucson, Arizona. It's like, oh my God, that's the end of the world. Exactly. And so. Sister Cyril Joseph was the superior. I was the oldest nun in the house without the ring. No one had the ring. I was the oldest. And we had two sisters just out of the novitiate. And then Joan, Joan Marie Sullivan came. Mm -hmm. She was coming really because of her health. And that then, seemed to be a place where our, our women were sent if they had uh, health problems. Is that correct? Well, not really. More, more Roy, New Mexico for oh, that. Right, right. Yeah. TB? Yeah, yeah TB. Yeah yeah. 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 But I spent three wonderful summers in Roy, New Mexico. <laughs> Without TB? <laughs> Without TB. <laughs> 
TB. TB yeah. without yeah. TB, yes. Yeah. Uh, no TV either. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, a, um, you know, I, I hated Tucson when I first got there. I hated the sand and, and not, there wasn't a lot of greenery. I mean, you know, Florida and Chicago growing up with all, growing up with all mm -hmm. kinds of, of green stuff, mm -hmm. trees, mm -hmm. um, but didn't take me long and I loved it. You know, you've been to many places throughout the United States. It seems once you left Chicago and then went to Florida, you stayed over on the West Coast. And then I stayed West, then 58 stayed west. years. Now, in how did the your west. family feel about this? Uh, they thought it was wonderful. That were they able to come? I mean, there were so many kids, your parents probably. Um, not, not much. Yeah. My, yeah. Later on, my mother and father came once everyone was grown. Yeah. A couple of times they came out. Yeah. My grandmother lived, one of my grandmothers, my father's mother, lived in Tucson. Oh, well, that's So good. I did have, you know. Some relatives there. Yeah, yeah. Now, we really don't have time to go through all of your missions yeah. and ministries, but are there a couple that were significant to you and highlights in your life that... Uh, I, think, I think Albuquerque, New Mexico was. And what made that unusual uh, or special? It was the sisters in the house mm -hmm. that the sisters I lived with, they, they were just wonderful. And uh, Dorothy Doyle was the principal mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. you know, good, good person. Um, Pat Walter was there. Mm -hmm. She came. Um, oh, well, yeah, who else was there that uh, worked at the Newman Center? One of our prioresses that died. Um, dang. Just before Rosemary. Who died before? Dorothy Falliard? No, before. No. Before. Dorothy Falliard. Genevieve? No, no. Well, no. it'll come. Let's not think about no, it, it'll not, come. Yeah, yeah, oh. it'll come. Um, and then, um, but especially Albuquerque, and I think that was the time of the changing of the Vatican II okay. and what have you. And, and, you know, lots of changes in the church, which I thought were marvelous, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. And we were lucky to have the Dominican priests at the Newman Center right. who, you know, talked to us. And we would go over there and, and learn so much about, the, about Vatican II and the changes. So we did that. So we really, we were well educated even by yes, ourselves. And yes, found that with readings. That yes, yes, yes. And so mm -hmm. we were. So that, that mm -hmm. was very significant mm -hmm. for me. The time you of know, the changes. Vatican with the Council. times of changes. So is there another place that you were, you were always teaching? I was a teacher, administrator. I was in a diocesan office. And what did you do? Where in were, Tucson. In Tucson, okay. In Tucson, yeah. And what did you do in the diocesan office? I was elementary coordinator. What does that mean? I <laughs> went around <laughs> with the superintendent. Oh, okay. And we did, we did observe in schools. Yeah. You know, so I enjoyed I enjoyed that yeah, part of it. It's too. nice to go around and see yes. how other people teach yes, and to see how they're teaching recommendations and, and to you know give them help if they need some yeah. help or uh, yeah. you know to support them in what they're in mm -hmm. what they're doing mm -hmm. and all the different uh, the sisters that were there. So then uh, you went out to uh, Henderson. I went to Henderson. You came to you came back to campus right now from Henderson. From Henderson, yes, I. Moved to Henderson in 1956. Okay. You know, and um, started working at the hospital. And what was it that you did there? I worked in medical records. Okay. You know, and loved the, the people, loved the sisters that were there. You know, there are many sisters <laughs> have gone through those doors. Exactly. You know, exactly. And um, at the time I lived there, um, there, there were about eight or ten, ten of ten of our sisters, and we lived all on Church Street. Church Street. Up and down the up and down the street. So it's always been like that. They never had a, a convent there, or lived on the top floor well, of the hospital, or. Well, early on, when the uh -huh. hospital first opened, the sisters lived in the hospital. Okay. But uh, and then they lived in apartments. Okay. And then the hospital started buying the houses on Church Street. Mm -hmm. And that's when the sisters started moving into those houses. That's good. Yeah. 
So I've helped a number of sisters either clean out their houses <laughs> and move elsewhere uh -huh. or move to Adrian. And it was always a hospitality street. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yes. And we had the hosp we have still have the hospitality house where where sisters have come. Some have come there for vacation a short time uh -huh. or just for, for a weekend, you know. That's right. that was right next to your That was home. I lived right next door yeah. to the hospitality yeah. house. Mm -hmm. You know. And then Katie McGrail lived or she still lives across the driveway from me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So of all the places that you've been at, you've grown and you've been mentored and you've enjoyed? I really and, have. Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. You know, there have been ups and downs like sure. there sure. is for everybody right. Right. in our lives. And I knew, I knew, I knew it, was, it was time for me to come to Adrian. That is a gift. To know that I just, to be I just so knew, right. I knew it was time. Mm -hmm. I wanted to come on my terms. Good for you. I wanted to come when I was still able to get around and get involved in things. And when you knew you were coming. <laughs> and yes, 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 yes. I didn't have to come. Right. But I chose to. And you know, living in the West for fifty eight years, it's not the easiest thing to get used to the 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 weather out here and back right. here in the Midwest. Right. Even though I grew up with it. Mm -hmm. So did you like the snow when you came back? It wasn't enough of it. No, I know. Not this year. Come on. <laughs> this is your first year, full yeah. year back. Yeah. 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 I, it wasn't the snow I remember as a child. Uh huh. You know, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Anyway, and the you're, cold you're, is what... <laughs> what gives you energy and purpose right now? Why do you get up every day? What gets you out of that bed? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's, it's to... It's to see the sisters, to be with the sisters, and to learn the names of people. <laughs> I'm still learning names. I, you know, you know the people in the West, but coming into right. Adrian, it was like, oh my heavens. Right, right. So but there's many. so many coming in from all over the congregation. They're coming from... We have to wear our name tags. I know. I have my name I tag, but I, You're good about that. I figured yeah. I didn't need to wear it today. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, that really is something we need to do. Because yeah. even if we know you, tomorrow I may not know your name. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm good at faces. Yeah. I know faces. Mm -hmm. But sometimes to put names to the faces, that's where I love the picture book. I can say, okay, I got to look in the picture book. I know this sister, mm -hmm. but I don't know her name. Mm -hmm. And then I might remember it for a while, mm -hmm. but I don't always do it. How would you like to be remembered, Janice? I would like to be remembered as a kind person, mm -hmm. a person is willing to to um, be helpful, and I hope as a as a faith-filled person. Beautiful. I try. Do you have any surprises about yourself that you want to tell the rest of the world <laughs> that we would say, "Oh my, I never knew that." <laughs> Well, I love horses. Oh, now that's a good one. I wanted a horse for Christmas one year when I was a child. And my father said I could have a horse if, but the horse would have to live in my bedroom. <laughs> I decided on horse wallpaper. Um, did you have a name and for I'm your a cat. horse? And I'm, oh, that's right. I, and I'm cat. a cat person. Yes, you are. I love cats. Mm -hmm. Over the many years that I had pets, um, I've had to put five of them down. Oh, my. And the last two were last year <laughs> when I moved, before I moved. Okay, okay. You know, 
So that's always difficult. But animals, animals are loving. Mm -hmm. They're kind, they're sweet. Um, they want attention. Mm -hmm. Um, they're, they're, I, I swear they're like human beings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. many times. I agree. You know. mm -hmm. And so, you know, I would say yes. Um, and maybe, maybe I'm also a risk taker. I enjoy, I enjoy traveling. Um, I did a zip line. <laughs> I've been on a cruise. Um, I've been to the Grand Canyon. Many of the canyons in the West. Um, I like to travel. Well, I hope you're going to travel soon. I mean, I hope you're going to be. <laughs> no, I mean, I hope once you get here that you doesn't mean you have to stop traveling. No, no, yeah. no, I know. So yeah. get your next trip planned. I'll get a next trip planned. Good, good, good. good well, so. thank you so much. Uh, is there anything else that you want to tell us that no. I didn't ask? Or? No, I think this is this. It's more than enough. <laughs> well, for... <laughs> well, thank you so much for uh, for coming and uh, for sharing your story. Oh. And you are a delight.